Today we would like to compare two uh, inspection uh, video cameras or video bore scopes. Uh, one from uh, Rigid and one is from Medit, uh, so-called Voyager video bore scope. Uh, I would like briefly to show you what is included into these both uh, cases and then we can go and see what's the difference between these two cameras. Okay, let's start with the rigid. It's uh, one of the, uh, their pretty good uh, and uh, good looking camera. You can see here, it's a really solid uh, unit and uh, with uh, one meter probe, at least the one that we have here, but there is also uh, uh, other props that you can uh, order. Uh, it's what is written in their, in their uh, paper that is included here. Uh, so we see here that uh, the inspection camera has this uh, flex and stay uh, type of pro. And uh, the camera head uh, is a 17 millimeter, so it's pretty uh, thick camera head. You can see here, and the LED LEDs uh, is uh, surrounding the video cameras. And uh, what else? They, it's powered by this uh, regular AA batteries, four of them. So and uh, okay, let's see what is inside. Uh, what, to power and see what it is. When you press the button power, it starts, the camera starts. It's uh, not a bad image, it's a pretty good image. Uh, it says in the, in the paper that the resolution is uh, 320 uh, uh, to 240. Uh, so the resolution is not great, but I mean for this side of monitor it's probably uh, for economy type probe is okay uh, and this uh, unit doesn't capture the images just uh, allow you to to view image to go somewhere uh, and uh, to also to just uh, make a still capture that only stay in the memory and you can uh, uh, go through uh, your stills and just uh, review them but it will not save these uh, images to any uh, like a SD cards or any me media that you can uh, maybe uh, put it on a computer at least I don't see it yeah there is a TV output where you can connect the external monitor let me open this thing here yeah, it's uh, there is uh, something inside here. Anyway, uh, it's a simple inspection camera uh, that uh, will do some basic jobs, especially when the diameter 17 millimeter is uh, fine for your application. Maybe some plumbing or something, maybe automotive. Uh, I would also like to say that there is a, this uh, uh, hook and the mirror, uh, no, magnet and the mirror uh, included in the box. So that's a good thing. Okay, let's uh, then compare uh, the rigid uh, video boroscope with. Uh, this Medit Voyager uh, video boroscope or uh, video inspection camera or sometimes called uh, snake uh, video camera or snake school. Uh, you can see uh, here also like a pretty good uh, solid uh, uh, case and uh, inside we can see the main uh, unit or video hub uh, that consists of the uh, the monitor and actually this monitor we checked that it's it's the resolution is is, uh, is really good for this for this type of small monitors 
the image is very clear. And uh, uh, this hub has a, you can see that the monitor can be, uh, you know, the, the, the monitor can be flexed and uh, can, uh, you can adjust it uh, to the, how you want when you do the job. And the probe, in this particular model, uh, we will show you the, <coughs> the probe that had a 5.5 millimeter diameter. It's really, uh, it's also flex and stay, so like it, you flex it and it will stay the same like uh, angle, uh, the same as with rigid, but uh, the diameter is 5.5, is much smaller diameter. And uh, you would think that it has a less resolution or less light, but in reality, uh, this 5.5 uh, millimeter probe has a better camera than this uh, 17 millimeter head. Uh, okay, the connection is really simple, and this uh, Voyager video borescope also can uh, can be. Uh, supplied with different lengths and the diameter, uh, another diameter is 8.5 uh, millimeter and the length uh, up to 3 meter length uh, probes. Okay, now we will uh, see how this po unit powers on. There is a button here. When you press, you can see here it starts the program and the video hub also starts and uh, let's just uh, put somewhere in the dark and uh, you can see here that there is a, you can see the image here and there is a, a few icons on the screen uh, where it shows it's either recording or it's uh, recording video or recording this still and that, that's a good uh, thing about this uh, uh, Voyager video boroscope or inspection camera that it, it, it has ability uh, built in in this video hub to capture stills images in JPEG format and uh, the video in uh, regular uh, for video format that you can play on a computer and uh, on this side you can see that there is a SD card actually it's coming uh, in, uh, with the key that's it's included uh, just a regular uh, SD card it's 4 gig gigs here so enough space for stills and uh, videos Okay, and uh, there is also a good uh, feature is uh, the connection uh, to the USB of the computer. So you can actually uh, connect it to a computer or laptop and download the images from the SD card. Or you can uh, just take the SD card and include into the, uh, just put it into your SD card reader. And uh, the cord is here, and also uh, the cord to connect uh, external monitor is also here included. Okay, so the main difference uh, we found uh, from the Voyager video inspection camera or video boroscope from the rigid inspection camera is that uh, one thing is that uh, the Voyager offers a much smaller diameter probe and the uh, resolution of the, ca the camera is uh, higher. Uh, also that uh, we think that's uh, really interesting that the monitor can be adjusted depending on the on the kind of job you do, and very importantly is that um, uh, the capability to capture images and the video that is built in in this unit. Uh, I was just playing uh, with this unit uh, uh, before and found that it it's it's not only capturing one still image; it can also capture the three image in a row. So you, you, you press the capture button here and uh, it's actually capturing three images. It's very importantly when you do the job and you want to capture 
and show to the client or to just for your records, uh, uh, you know, particular uh, defect or, for example, finding, then it's uh, pretty interesting. And then uh, to record a video also, it's live video, you can record on 4 gigs, uh, quite long video. Okay, so I think uh, that's, 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 that's all for, for now. And uh, thank you to, to, be, uh, to, to see our video and I hope it will help you to, to decide uh, which unit you need for your jobs. Uh,